I Like Myself by Karen Beaumont and illustrated by David Catterow. I love David's illustrations. They are so cool. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. Are you glad you're you? You should be. There's no one else I'd rather be. I don't want to be a baby or an old lady or a policeman or a man or a woman in a dress. I like just being me. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. She really likes herself. Look at all the pictures on the wall. They're her fingers and toes and nose and eyes and her puppy. I like me wild and I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast and I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too for all I think and say and do. <gasps> Woo! Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all. It all is me and me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut or a crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Cause nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, her hair is rather messy, isn't it? No matter what, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. Ooh, check that. The bicycle out. Hmm. That's an interesting contraption. I'd still like me with fleas or warts, nor with silly snout that snorts. Or knobby knees or hippo lips or polka dot dotted lips. What do you think? She still likes herself. Or beaver breath or stinky toes or horns protruding from my nose. Ooh, that's a big old horn. Oh, yikes! With spikes all down my spine or hair that's like a porcupine, I still would be the same, you see. Check out the horns from her nose. I like myself because I'm me. That's good to like yourself. You gotta like yourself before people can like you. It's a good book. It's one of my favorites. Hope you enjoyed it.